So the, one of the more fundamental aspects of ultrasound is the technique known as heterodyning. And here we're going to have a brief introduction of the technology, how it makes ultrasound testing work. It was invented by this gentleman, Reginald Aubrey Fessenden. He was a Canadian born inventor and uh, he claimed some US citizenship uh, due to his American born father. Um, during his early life, he received hundreds of patents in various fields, mostly around radio and sonar. He also pioneered amplitude mod modulation or AM radio. So what is heterodyning? All quality ultrasound instruments use heterodyning as a basis for how it works, and it's based on trigonometry. And no, in this level one course, we're not going to ask you to solve equations like this, but we want to familiarize you with what it is that makes this ultrasound technology work, what's behind the box. So it's what happens with heterodyning is we're shifting one frequency range for another. That's the most simple way to explain it. And uh, basically, there's a multiplication that happens between two different frequencies. You're, and you're looking at the, uh, the difference in the sum of those frequencies. So what heterodyning does is it allows us to hear the inaudible. Here's an example uh, in layman's term, heterodyming really shifts frequencies from something that you can't hear to something that you can hear. So in this green area right now, you see infrasound, that's sound that is at such a low level that it's very difficult or impossible for humans to hear. In the audible range, that's where humans can hear. Ultrasound are frequencies above human capabilities to hear. And so as you move up, you see that the frequency actually changes. The shape of the waveform changes, right? So as you go up and down, you can see that there are different characteristics to that waveform. So let's, so let's show a, uh, a little bit of a practical example. So that's just a, a sound recording of somebody discussing or, or providing a statement. It's very easy for us to hear, right? But what if we shifted the frequency? What if we made it a bit higher? Or even higher? That one actually hurts my ears. Can also shift it downward. So heterodyning is similar to this. It allows us to shift the frequencies that we're listening to from something that is hard for us or difficult or impossible for us to hear to something that we can hear. So how does heterodyning work? Well, it starts, it, there's really three different steps to it. The first is that it all starts with the sound, uh, a sound wave. Right, it, it could be at any frequency, but what we're interested in with ultrasound is frequencies that are in the ultrasound range. So in the blue band that you're seeing in the diagram below. So the first step is to apply a filter to remove any of the other ultrasound frequencies that we don't care about. We only wanna hear ultrasound frequencies in the band of frequencies that we're interested in. So the first thing is that manufacturers put in a bandpass filter. So we're only hearing in the, we're only sensing sound waves in that, in that um, arena. So we can assume that this blue area is the sound area that we want to be able to distinguish those frequencies from. The second step is that the Technology applies what's called a mixer signal. And it, different companies use different mixer signals, different frequencies for that uh, mixer signal. And you see on this diagram, the mixer is represented by the, the uh, Greek symbol theta and ultrasound is represented by phi one. And uh, so the mixer is at 30,000 Hertz and the ultrasound frequency is at 40,000 Hertz. 
The third step is the heterodyning process. So we now have the two signals, the mixer and the ultrasound signal. And what we're doing now is summing them. So adding theta and phi, and that's where you see on the right side, the black, uh, the, the black uh, time wave is at 70,000 Hertz. So if you add 30,000 and 40,000, you get 70,000. And you also see in the green area, which is human hearing range, that we have the uh, subtraction or the difference between 40,000 and 30,000, and that's at 10,000 Hertz. So through some mathematics, we take the ultrasound signal that we're interested in, add or subtract the mixer frequency from it, and we're able to hear a representation of that sound in the hearing range. The, the black uh, trace up on the right side, we don't really care about it because we can't hear it, but it's there. So we wanna hear the same thing, the same sound that's happening in the ultrasound range, but we wanna be able to make it audible in our hearing range. So if it was a click, say a bearing defect at a ultrasound frequency, with a one second period, we wanna still be able to hear that one second periodic click, right? So using this heterodyning process, that's how we can move that signal down into the audible range. Oh, let me uh, go back here for a moment. So within the ultrasound range though, we might also have multiple frequencies and each of those will result in something that we can hear in the audible range. So that's where the equation comes from and the sum and the differences of frequencies. So you can, you can see that we don't need to do this day to day because it's included in the equipment that we're using. We don't have to think about it any further, but you just should understand how heterodyning works.